One of the great things about the gyro swing is that it teaches you certainly how to rotate the club face, which is something so many people do not know how to do. It certainly helps you to work the club down on plane. Club feels nice and light, then it begins the rotation. One of the great things about finding a release point that's not behind the ball, we see a lot of people release the club from here at the top and they cast and as they cast, their weight's back on their back foot. What this does is as it's rotating, it really teaches you to get your weight up to the left side. And I feel like it's happening from my waist down. I almost feel like when I get to the top and I begin my arm swing down, I want to go ahead and feel the weight moving to the left side. And then I begin to rotate. Now, take a look at this angle here that then allows me to restore that angle as long as possible and now I feel, feel the gyro swing squaring that club face up. Most people that try to learn to have a release, uh, a late release and a late hit end up doing this. They pull down, they get like this and then in an effort to try to delay the release, look at how open the club face is. Now even though that they've done this, they're going to be very discouraged in trying to utilize that type of a golf swing. They're not going to ever give it a chance. What I like is that it teaches my hands to stay in front, but the gyro is squaring the club face up, which is helping me to trap and turn the face down without being back here and getting scoopy with it. Because one of the most difficult things in the world is to learn how to release the golf club. And what I mean by that, it's, it's when I take this angle between the shaft and the left arm, and it starts to square and starts to, to release and straighten, you can see a lot of people do that and the face stays wide open. And they do it from behind the ball. That's what, not what you want. So the gyro is really encouraging forward motion of the arm swing, forward motion where my hands are leading, and yet at the same time it's trapping and squaring the club face up. To me, this is the beauty one of the key elements in learning how to use the gyro swing because this is what is very difficult to teach. We teach punch drills, we teach right hand off the club post impact and all that, they're great drills but this really makes you do it and that's what I like about it because you know I could have a lot of different drills and you know I've done over hundreds of drills but I want a golf club that's helping me to do the right things rather than me to do all the work. And that's what makes it so, so great. So do a few mini impact drills, getting that sensation of good arm swing, forward motion, good body motion, and that thing will square up for you. And you'll start finding that your divots are gonna be from just past the ball going forward rather than hitting behind a golf ball or sculling it and hitting it thin. That's, that's when your bottom of the arc is way, way back behind the ball. You want that divot to start just in front of the ball and move forward and obviously we want that face to be squared impact as we do that. The gyro swing will help you to do that.